Welcome back, beautiful Capricorns. Thank you for joining me here. This is your bonus reading. Capricorn, let's see. Somebody's angry. Maybe you're angry. Oh, slow to anger. Slow to anger. What's going on? It's about a partnership or business or romance. Oh, what's going on? Somebody is ignoring someone. Is this a mother energy? Refusing? Uh, I don't know what this is about yet. Somebody's been making fun of someone and they've been lying. Someone could be... Someone's taking action. Someone is saying something because they're envious or jealous. Somebody's imagination is running away with somebody. It's like... It's... Someone's imagination is running overboard here. There, something is unstable, or someone's acting unstable. I, it's almost like, oh. okay. Again, we have a Virgo, a Capricorn, or a Taurus masculine who is very stable, who is looking at the long-term uh, repercussions or looking at something long-term. Somebody's got to take the lead here. Yeah, somebody's got to take the bull by the horns here. There is something going on. Now, whoever this masculine energy is, someone is jealous of this masculine. And Virgo showed up right beside it. So it could be Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo masculine. Someone is jealous of this is another masculine who is jealous of Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus. And what Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus has going on in their relationship and in their finances. They've been lying. They're acting really sneaky. They could be a troublemaker. They could be causing trouble for a Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus energy, a masculine. Because whoever this masculine is, they are in a long-term connection with, um, I don't know what they're doing, if they're having a business relationship with the Empress or a romantic relationship with the Empress, but it's like they're telling the truth. This is a truth teller. So someone isn't talking to someone or is refusing to talk to someone because they're Okay, I don't know. Because they've been, because this uh, Capricorn Virgo Taurus person stood up for themselves and told someone off.
they don't trust this person because they're a manipulator. And they're trying to manipulate their way into somebody's finances or their home. Oh my God. So we have another Capricorn here. So, okay, so this masculine told this other masculine to stop poking their nose in their business. Stop interfering. Stop sticking your nose where it don't belong. Now, they said stop it. And they were being genuine about it, too. They were being sincere about it. They said, stop sticking your nose in my business. Stop sticking your nose and interfering. Stop sticking your nose in my business. Just plain and simple. Um, this is someone who keeps poking their nose in someone's home life or their relationships and their money and this masculine told this other masculine stop sticking your nose you're i don't trust you you're a little manipulator and stop doing it stop interfering stop causing trouble okay like i'm getting tired of it Okay, I'm getting tired of you poking your nose in my business. I'm getting tired and I'm not going to have nothing to do with you because I don't trust you now. I think you're sneaky. This is someone who is speaking the truth. This is someone who is speaking the truth. This masculine is speak speaking their mind. And it's like... There's hurt feelings here. They're angry. They're tired of it. They're tired of someone sticking their nose in their business the whole time. In their relationship, in their finances, want to know all the ins and outs and details of everything, which is none of their business. And that's what they're saying. It's none of your business. This is someone who's getting tired of people trying to control the outcome or trying to control the narrative. This is a masculine who had to um, man up here and tell somebody off, and they did. They got tired and angry. They're expressing their anger. See, there's a fight, an argument. Huh. Oh, see, because they got tired of being gossiped about causing all this drama so there's a masculine energy here who is protecting their relationship who is protecting their household who is protecting their family doing what they're supposed to be doing this is no coward this is someone who tells it like it is 
this is someone who speaks their mind and this other bullshitter over here whoever this king of swords is they're a know-it-all they're a manipulator and they've been causing fights they've been causing drama they've been a gossip they're rude they're arrogant they're sticking their nose in this other masculine's business not only are they sticking their nose in this other masculine's business but they're trying to get all the where for all about the the this masculine's the their their mom and their spouse and want to know where they're getting their money from want to know how much everything costs this is like would you pay for that want to know all the information where'd you get the money for this who give you that where'd you get this where'd you get that what they're doing is they're competing with the king of pentacles this king of swords is competing with the king of pentacles and they're a troublemaker they're they're um and then this because this king of pentacles told off this king of swords told them angrily i'll, I'll beat your ass So then this King of Swords turns around, is manipulating, says, oh yeah, I thought they were going to kill me or something. I thought that the King of Pentacles was going to, was going to attack me or, or kill me or something like that. It's like they're exaggerating. They're putting on the show for somebody and probably... Uh, the Queen of Pentacles. I don't know. Somebody, uh, there could be a couple of Capricorns involved here because there's too many people here. So it's like this King of Pentacles stood their ground with the King of Swords, told them to mind your own business. They got angry. They probably said, I'd kick your ass. This King of uh, swords turns around manipulates the situation to cause drama said oh yeah I think that you know uh, I I think they were gonna be I think that the king of pentacles was gonna beat me up or something like that oh Jesus you wish so This King of Pentacles just wishes everybody would get along. This King of Pentacles is just wishing that everybody could get together without gossip, without drama, without a problem. This King of Pentacles is tired of the drama. Tired of it. I'm tired of the drama. I'm tired of getting backstabbed. I'm tired of the drama. I'm tired of the pain. I'm tired of the manipulation. Every time we get together, there's a problem. Every time there's gossip here, manipulation, and drama. And this King of Pentacles is going, look, I'm tired of the drama. It's like they hope, they wish, they prayed that everybody could just get along. But, you know, they're acting very respectful saying you better respect my wishes you better respect my decisions you better respect my spouse you better respect my own you better respect and be fair and be just this is someone who is a truth teller they're speaking the god's honest truth This is an exaggerator. This 
little punk. I don't know who they are, little insecure, little twat over here. Who's been bad mouthing? Who's been starting drama for the King of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles family? And this King of Pentacles put them in their place and then they turn the narrative. Oh, I thought they were going to kill me. Oh, they're violent. I think they're abusive. I think this. I think that. They're a clown act. They're a scaredy cat. They're just a big chicken shit who can't own up to the shit that they have caused. This is making me mad. This is really making me mad. So I'm picking up on the anger of the King of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles spouse. Getting too nosy, sticking their nose where it doesn't belong. Now the King of Pentacles has said it politely and said it respectfully. Okay? They spoke the truth, but they said it respectfully with dignity, not the way that this person is twisting the narrative. Look, if that ain't twisting the narrative, I don't know what is. Twisting the truth. Twisting the way things happen. This is all jumping to conclusions. And this masculine spoke the truth and they did it in a fair and just manner. They were hoping for peace. They did it respectfully. And this person is swearing they're telling the truth, but they're manipulating. They're a gossip. And they're insecure. And they're competing. And they are starting drama for the King of Pentacles and their relationship. Mm. There could be a not so upright Capricorn here. I'm sensing two Capricorns involved. And this wanted to come in. So what's the problem here? This person is freaking arrogant. That's the problem. They're getting too cocky. They're getting too arrogant. They could be a bully. Uh... I don't know. Or they have a child who's a bully. I don't know. And this King of Pentacles is saying you better not. They're putting this masculine in their place and the masculine did not like it. Well, it could be about a child. See, don't pick on my child. This King of Pentacles could have said, your kid's a bully. You better stop your kid from bullying my kid. It's carrying on all the way down the line. It started in an adult relationship and it's carrying down to the children. Now the child is being a bully and now the King of Pentacles is putting some other masculine in their place. Don't bully my kid. <laughs> I'm telling you, don't bully my kid. Hmm. Trying to teach him a lesson. Trying to, like, to be fair. I, I mean this. Okay, okay, okay. So, it's... This King of Pentacles has been very generous. This King of Pentacles is trying for their spouse, for their relationship. 
and trying to like problem solve here. They're trying to problem solve. Like this King of Pentacles has done a lot of introspection. It's not just like they fly off the handle. They've done a lot of thought before they take action. They don't just react. They do a lot of contemplation before they say anything. So I said, they do a lot of soul searching and thinking before they said a word. They weighed it out. They really weighed it out. They did a lot of thinking. And they're trying to solve this problem. They were hoping and praying to solve this problem peacefully. So it started an adult tissue, and now it's going down to the kids. There is deception here. And this is a lot of back and forthing, going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Now, what are you doing here? What are you doing here? So, oh my God, we got this story again. So we got the King and Queen of Pentacles here. I mean, the King and Queen of Swords. And we have the King of Pentacles and their spouse. And why is... What's wrong with Capricorn here? I haven't figured that apart out yet. But this Queen of Swords is a Queen of Pentacles, so there's two Capricorns. One is not so upright, I gotta say. I don't know what's going on. Yeah. Okay, this Queen of Swords is the Queen of Pentacles. So that's one couple. We got two couples here. And we have a Capricorn in the center who is not trying not to take any sides, but you got to take a side. These two are insisting. They're, they're fear mongering. They are putting... Oh, God, this is sick. I'm not doing it. It is. It's freaking foolish. Somebody's just sitting there, turns, you know. Oh, my God, I can't do it. This is critical. This is judgmental. This is criticizing, criticizing, criticizing. Know it all. Know it all. We know it all. We know everything about the King of Pentacles. We know what they're doing. We, we're smarter, we're more intelligent, we're wiser than the King of Pentacles and their spouse, who is the Queen of Cups. Okay, so now we have two couples here and somebody in the middle here, a Capricorn in the center. What's going on here? These 
could be siblings and their spouses. <laughs> oh, this is nasty. So what became, what started out an adult issue? What started out as the adults in the situation? Or now, like, their kids are listening to everything that these two are saying. The kids, the child is listening to what these two are saying. Okay, the kid is hearing the parents talk. And the kid then starts being a bully. Because they've heard these two saying all this smut, manipulation, arrogance, gossip and rumors. These two are talking. Who do you think is listening here? This is sad. The child is listening to it all and then starts acting out being a bully to whoever the King of Pentacles is and their spouse's child because they've been hearing mom and dad talk about this in front of the kids. This is going on. All this is manipulation anyway. Look, these words, that these two adults are speaking, they are making, this is how generational karma is created. Right here. You want a prime example how generational curses and generational karma is manifested? This is how it is manifested. It's bloody over foolishness. And look, the child Here's the parents saying all this about the King of Pentacles and their family and their child or children. Now, this child goes to what? School and acts out, acts out at school, is a bully, school bully, because... They've, this child has heard their parents say everything about the King of Pentacles and their spouse and their child. So this child feels like this child has the right to go to school and pick on and be a bully at school because they hear what their parents say. They hear what their parents is talking about and how they're talking about they're training their kid to be a bully. I'm sorry. They are. Because they know it all, right? The first to judge. The first to criticize. And then you wonder why your kid goes to school being a bully. It's just foolishness. That's how generational curses and repeating cycles. This is being born. Okay? into a vicious cycle. This is perpetuating another generational curse. This is perpetuating, perpetuating another generation of this bullshit. Right there, that's how generational curses are born. Instead of people learning their lessons, they pass it down to their children. Repeating cycles. Mm. That's why I get frustrated in these reads. But I get to the story. That is the story. This is repeating another generation, bringing another generation into the world with this bullshit of hearing what mom and dad say about 
auntie so-and-so, uncle so-and-so, they're bad people, they do this, they do that, and then the kid goes to school and learns to be a bully and picks on the other kids at the school, including the King of Pentacles and their spouse, which is the Queen of Cups. Okay? Now, the King of Pentacles was praying and hoping for peace. The King of Pentacles had to take action. Because their kid's getting picked on, their spouse is getting picked on, and these know-it-alls are, are, are creating drama. Creating drama for their happiness and their child. So... The King of Pentacles goes after the King of Swords and the Queen of Swords, mostly the King of Swords, and says, look, you better control your kid. You better stick your nose in your own business. You better stop causing trouble for my family. You better stop it, or I'll come teach you a lesson. So then the King of Swords gets in a half. King of Swords then turns around and says that the King of Pentacles is, is um, oh, I'm scared of them. They're, they're, they're dangerous. They're dangerous. No, the King of Pentacles is telling the absolute truth here. The King of Pentacles is the only damn one in this situation telling the truth. Well, so is the King of Pentacles spouse. Now, they try to handle it respectfully. They tried to handle it with tact and diplomacy, okay? But it didn't work. So now the King of Pentacles is worked out. They tried to be diplomatic. They tried to be, uh, talk about it with respect and dignity, but it didn't get them nowhere. So now they're getting a more, more aggressive with it. King of Pentacles is like, now I don't care. You mess with me, you mess with my kid, you mess with my spouse, you'll be dealing with me. And you can run frightened all you want, say whatever you want to say, but stop sticking your nose in my business. Stop poking your nose. You either show some dignity and respect for my family and my spouse and my child or stay the hell away from me. And if you cause me any more trouble, I'm going to come find you. How about that? has been very generous trying to help these people out and then they turn on them. What a bunch of jerks. Told you. I, I know it. That's karma, man. They tried to offer a peace offering. Okay. This is a, a assistance and everything that the King of Pentacles has tried to do. Help them out when they were down. That's what I'm talking about. Who does this? The King of Pentacles has done and the King of Pentacles spouse has done everything in their power. To help this other couple out has been very generous, very warm, very welcoming, very diplomatic, very generous. With their resources, their time, they, they helped them out when they were broke, helped them out when they were down on their luck. When they were down on their luck, who offered them help? Who offered them an opportunity? Who offered them assistance? I'll tell you who, the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups, which could be uh, the, uh, the, 
the King of Pentacles spouse, okay? So I'm telling you right now that And it's like, anytime the King of Swords asked for the King of Pentacles' help, they were generous and gave. And now they're being judged? Stressed out? God. Some so called friend that is. Helping out family, see? <laughs> For the love of family. Somebody just sits there, turns their back on it all, not listening to any of it. That's your friend who does that to you? Wow. So, in my opinion, according to these cards, the King of Pentacles had more patience than what they knew what to do with. They've been very silent about it. They were quiet about it. They waited to say anything. They didn't want to say anything. But... This King of Pentacles should be recognized for their efforts. The love of their family, the love of people in general. This, folks, is how generational curses are passed down to generation to generation. This right here. That's how it's born. <laughs> it's really sick. It's really sick. These are siblings, eh? Friend in need. So, this King of Pentacles took this King of Swords under their wing. Helped them out. Helped them out when they were hurting. Helped them out when they were suffering. And that is the thanks and that is how you're rewarded. Smart ass, that is. Turned around and caused some drama? Made their life chaotic? Holy God. Little boob. Big baby. Could even help them find a job. Find, help them find work. The King of Swords will deny that all, though, because they're freaking greedy. The 
they lie to get attention. They're lying because they want all the attention on them. And they're getting it. How you carry on traditions so then those kids grow up and hate each other and there's another family that don't talk to one another that's how generational curses are born right there it's going on in some Capricorns world Somebody is just plain and simply tired of the arrogance. It's karma. They are making karma for themselves. They don't understand it. You don't accept people's generosity and turn around and treat them like that. That is creating bad juju right there generational karma this king of pentacles did not deserve it and neither did their spouse deserve any of this they're the ones that were generous they're the ones that helped out they're the ones that were giving and they get treated like they're dirt hello Take care.